एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Why are you watching the carpenter? Uh, I've been doing some carpentry research on his college project, so I've been observing him and and his techniques. Okay, that's a good gesture from your side. But rather watch the video carefully, and after watching the video, you will learn the carpentry tools and the operations in detail. Sure, sure, I'll do that. Welcome to S Chand Academy. and i am anmol bhatia in this part of the video we will be learning about carpentry tools for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so the topic that we are starting in this part of the video is introduction to carpentry tools and this topic is a part of the course manufacturing practices so as you can see on the board the definition of carpentry carpentry is basically a process of cutting the wooden articles and joining those components such as the the roots or floors or partitions or these windows in order to obtain a particular uh, finished item and this carpentry involves certain operations such as cutting shaping fashioning the wood together so that the finished product is obtained and here the most important aspect of uh, this carpentry operation is the joining part so preparation of the joints is a very important operation in the wood working field so let us come to the tools and the categories of the tools so here we have these many categories of the carpentry tools the first and the foremost is the marking tool which is used to mark the measurements on the surface of the wood second is the measuring tools which are used to measure the length on the surface of the wood third is the holding tool which is used to hold the wood uh, in between the jaws so that it would not um, Uh, withheld with from its position then we have the cutting tool which is used to cut the the wood from the surface and we have then planing tool planing tool is uh, a finishing tool which is used to remove the extra material from the surface of the wood then we have a boring tool a boring tool is used to uh, enlarge the hole which is already there inside the wood then we have striking tool which is used to strike on the surface of the wood and additionally we have some miscellaneous tools which would be we would be studying so let us understand these tools one by one number one is the marking tool as the name suggest that this is used to mark the lines on the edges of the wooden piece so if we want to mark the lines on the edges of the wooden piece we use this marking tool and it consist of a square wooden stem with a sliding wooden stock on it on the stem there is a marking pin which is attached and that marking pin is made up of steel and when this pin strikes on the surface or it scratches the surface then we obtain a mark on the wooden uh, surface and that mark may be a uh, if we want that parallel line to be there so we can easily uh, mark that parallel line on the surface with the help of that marking pin as you can see on the board we have this gauge which is used to mark uh, the parallel lines on the surface here you have a stem and on the stem we have a marking pin and here we have a head and on the head there is a thumb screw which is attached so the carpenter will hold this uh, thumb screw on with this hand and place his thumb on the surface and additionally strikes or uh, moves the marking pin on the surface so what happens this marking pin will strike on the wooden surface and will make a line on the surface of the wood i wanted to show you a marking tool and as you can see that this is the the same marking tool that i was talking about so this has a stem on the stem you have a pin which is there on which is there attached on the stem and you have this part which is the head part and on the head part you have the thumb 
so what happens here the carpenter will place this uh, tool on his, in his hand and place his thumb like this and mark on the surface of wood the parallel line so this tool is generally a marking tool which is used to mark on the surface of the wood then coming to the measuring tools as the name suggests it is used to measure the dimensions or distances and uh, that measurement or dimensions is necessarily required while performing any carpentry operation. So what measuring tools uh, are we studying? So measuring tools are steel tape, steel rule, a tri square or a caliper. So let us understand these tools one by one. Steel tape or steel rules, they are basically used for measuring the short and the lengths which are there in uh, mm so it is used to measure the lengths which are there in millimeters a tri square is is basically an instrument which is used to check the squareness and this is used to mark the same on the joints and a caliper is a kind of precision measuring instrument that is used to measure the cylindrical surfaces so here you can see that there is a steel tape and this one is a tri square so, so steel tape has markings on the surface which is used to uh, measure the length on the wooden surface and tri square is an instrument which is used to check the squareness of the surface that we have produced with the help of the carpentry operation i just wanted to show you two uh, tools which are the steel rule and the tri square this one is the steel tape which is used by the carpenter uh, for performing the measuring operations. So this tool is called as a measuring tape and the other tool is this tool which is the tri square. So tri square is a tool which has a scale and this has a handle and the wood is placed in between the surface so that the squareness is checked or the perpendicularity or the orthogonality is being checked with the help of this measuring instrument. Then next category is the holding tool. So as the name suggests, it is used to hold the wood uh, so as to perform the carpentry operations easily. So we have many categories of the holding tools. To name a few, we have carpenter vise and a G clamp. So a carpenter vise consists of one fixed jaw and one movable jaw. So it has one fixed jaw and it has one movable jaw and one jaw is fixed to the side of the table and the other movable jaw is uh, attached with the help of a screw and when the operator moves the screw with the help of the handle the other movable jaw comes in contact. So both the jaws comes in contact with each other together and in between the jaws we place the wooden article that we want to hold. So this one is the carpenter's vise. A G clamp is another set of the holding device or the holding tool that is made up of malleable iron and it has these ACME threads of higher quality steel and that is used for clamping the small work when gluing up. So whenever we want to glue up the wood together and we want it for the small operations for the smaller quantity work so for that we use a G clamp. Here you can see that this G clamp is having a handle and that handle is having the square threads when the operator rotates this handle this comes in contact with the fixed jaw and in between the two we keep the two wooden articles together. So majorly it is used for the gluing operation whenever we want the two wooden articles to be glued together and we want them to be uh, there for some time. So for that particular situation we use a G clamp and tighten those particular articles together. Then the next category that we want to learn is the cutting tool. So cutting tool as the name suggests that it is used to cut the wooden article from the surface. So majorly we mark the length with the help of the marking tool and uh, after marking we need to cut uh, the surface of the wood for the particular operations. So the category of the cutting tool that we have is the saw and a chisel. So saw is a kind of cutting tool which is used to cut on the surface of the wooden article and additionally we have the chisel for the same purpose. 
but the layout or the constructional details of both of them is different. In case of saw, we have these categories, namely the rip saw, the cross cut saw or the tenon saw. In case of chisel, we have a firmer chisel. So let us come to the category of saw first and then we'll understand the details of the chisel. In case of saw, as you can see on the board, the diagram is there. So a saw is having a handle and this handle is connected to a skew back and there, there it has a metal blade. On the metal blade, it has the teeth. The later part is called as a toe and this part is called as the heel. I wanted to just show you the saw which is used by the carpenter. So here you can see that it has a handle there, right? So there is a handle and it has one uh, part which is called as this toe and there are teeth which are used to cut the surface of the wood. So this is an example of a saw. So coming to the rip saw, the cross cut saw and the tenon saw. All these saw are used to cut the wood into number of pieces but we have certain category like number one is the rip saw. The rip saw as uh, the case as in the case that the blades of this rip saw is either straight or skew backed and they are set so that the cutting edge of the saw makes steeper angle of about 60 degree here you observe the cutting angles here so cutting angles are more steeper and the cutting angles are at an angle of 60 degree then you have cross cut saw it is used to cut across the grains of the stock so in order to cut the grains of the stock we have this cross cut saw and uh, for the observation the diagram of the cross cut saw is there on the board. Then we have the tenon saw. Tenon saw is also having a very fine blade and that is reinforced with the help of a rigid steel back. So these teeth are shaped like a cross cut saw. So in, in case of cross cut saw the shape of the tool the shape of the blade is similar but what happens it is uh, made majorly in this particular shape. Then the other category is the chisel part. So chisel is a kind of the cutting tool and also it is a shaping tool which is used to cut and shape the wood uh, accurately. The chisel is made in various blade width and those width of the blades are ranging from 3 to 50 mm. So most of the chisels are being made with the help of uh, a steel shank and it is a tang type that fits inside the handle. So as you can see the diagram on the board it has a handle and that handle is attached to this surface and uh, here you observe that you have a cutting edge and we place that cutting edge on the surface of the wood that we want to shape or we want to cut. The category of uh, this chisel is the firmer chisel. The firmer chisel is basically a general purpose chisel that is used either by hand pressure or by a mallet. So either we can uh, remove the material with the help of the hand or we can use ham a mallet additionally in order to strike off the material from the surface of the wood. And firmer chisel is rather a flat part. So here you can observe the, uh, the shape as a flat shape. And it has a sloping face of sloping face which is inclined at an angle of 15 to 52 degree. Now I wanted to just show you the case of the firmer chisel. You observe that this is having a, a handle in which this particular surface is being inserted and you have this cutting edge and this cutting edge is placed on the surface of wood. And if we want to remove the extra material from the surface, we can do it either by applying the pressure from the hand or we can use a mallet additionally in order to strike the surface uh, of this chisel so that the extra material is removed from the surface. With this, we come to the end of the first part of the video in which we learnt about different categories of the carpentry tools. We learnt about the marking tools, we learnt about the measuring tools and also we learned about the cutting tools.
which are used for the carpentry operations. In the next part of the video, we will be learning the other categories of the carpentry tools. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.